open the TerraConfig app. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled. Press Connect Charger. Choose the right serial number from the list. Enter the PIN. The charging station confirms with a beep that you've successfully connected. To update your device's firmware, open the TerraConfig app. Press on Device Update and download the right package. Upload your package to your charging station. During this process, your device needs to be continuously connected to the charger. First make sure your device is connected to a 2.4 GHz network. Press on Charger Link. The charger will restart now. You have to reconnect with Bluetooth. Enter your network password. Your charger will confirm the established connection if the second LED stops blinking and lights up continuously. To limit the maximum current on your charger, press Settings, then Local Power Grid Configuration. Here, you can set the desired maximum current. The limitation is now visible in the charger sync app. The user can't exceed the maximum current. In order to deactivate RFID authorization, press device mode, then enable free vending. In order to use cards from other suppliers than ABB, go to the TerraConfig app and push RFID. Then flip the switch to third-party cards. To add an additional RFID card for authorization, open Charger Sync app, connect to the charger, open cards and press on the plus. Hold your card onto the RFID reader and confirm it on the app. To connect the AC Terra for the end user, open the Charger Sync app. Make sure you've enabled Bluetooth and press on Add Charger. Scan the upper of the two barcodes and enter the PIN. station will confirm a successful connection with a beep. In order to establish an external OCPP connection, make sure that your desired URL has been pre-configured on the TerraConfig port. Press OCPP on the TerraConfig app. Choose the URL and upload it on the charger.